This building that you see here, it is the property of the city of Compton. It had been vacant for years. Only certain people knew what was hidden inside. Now the ATF is investigating who had access. Guns like these, semi-automatic weapons used by law enforcement, just part of a cache of weapons that have vanished. Total, there was a couple hundred weapons in there. Two hundred weapons. Right, and there's about 30 or so missing. 30. Right. City manager Cecil Rambo is also a former assistant sheriff who learned about Compton's stored guns when he took office a year ago. Any weapon not inventoried or properly secured, a public safety threat. Compton, one of many communities that regularly holds gun buybacks. Rambo requested the sheriff's department to inventory Compton's weapons. I wanted to know what was there. What did we have? What did we have in our custody? The guns had been locked in this safe, vintage 1920, inside Compton's old city hall. The sheriff's department agreed to catalog them and created a master list. But when deputies returned weeks later to retrieve them, dozens of weapons had been stolen. Federal agents from ATF have been notified. Find out, you know, who had combinations, what, what's going on. Uh, in my mind, you know, missing weapons is a crime. The Sheriff's Department took over policing in Compton in 2000. The weapons that had been stored were leftovers from when the city had its own PD. So what's missing? So there's a list of uh, mostly Berettas um, and some Glocks. The building had no cameras. Until recently, it was completely vacant. The ATF now has a record of what guns are gone in case any are used in a crime or turn up on the street, exactly where Compton doesn't want them. The city, uh, myself, and the, and the mayor and council take it very seriously, which is why we ordered this investigation immediately. No word exactly how many people had access to that combination lock and to that vault, but it appears that for decades, that combination never changed.